we fix it to make this town real smoky. I want to start off this discussion about ranked and statistics with this comment here. It says, you're so scared to lose your low Tekken King rank. You're not good. Harada blocked you and you live in quick matches, lol. Now, after seeing this, I went live on YouTube and I spent the next hour grinding easily Tekken Emperor promotion achieved. Now, the reason why I don't play ranked is not because I'm scared of losing or afraid of being demoted. The reason why I don't play ranked is kind of more simply, I just don't like the way that it operates within Tekken 8. Kind of how Speed Kick says, Tekken 8 with a real rank system would go so hard. This person by the name of Devil Wig Werg, they uploaded a very detailed breakdown of the ranking system within Tekken 8. You can see how you gain points when you win and how you lose it when you lose. Now when you talk about this chart here, there's four bullet points that's very interesting. Garyu is the first rank where you lose as many points for a loss as you get for a win. This would explain why Garyu is the most populated rank by far. At Fujin, you start to lose more points for a loss than you gain for a win. This means you need to have greater than a 50% win rate to maintain your rank. The win rate needed to maintain your rank goes up quite a bit. At Garyu, it's 50%, but at Tekken God Supreme, it's 57%. The maximum amount of wins needed for God of Destruction is 18. This is a massive reduction from the 33 for Tekken God Omega and Tekken 7. And therein lies why I don't like rank. But beyond that, Let's talk about the character statistics and usage data. Now we have an updated chart from Not Quite Factual. It says a brief look into Tekken 8 metagame May 2024 edition. So this person kind of has been giving us this every month and we kind of can see the way that the game is uh, playing out. Like for example, at one point in time, Eddie was the most popular character in the whole game. In this, he's not. First, with the rank distributions, you can see, as Old Blaze said, Garyu is the most populated rank. Players hit that like a brick wall and can't pass through it. It's quite interesting to see that Vanquisher, that's where the Eddie bot was operating. For those of you who don't know, that experiment has concluded. The stream is no longer operating. Jim Mashima has took it down. Here's some statistics on it. Almost 3,400 matches played, a total win rate of 32%, 1,115 wins. When we look at the character matchup, you can see that most of these wins come from the Lily player base. Lily mains, you got a lot to explain. The 3-3 matchup, is that brutal? Other than that, everything looks pretty similar. Let's keep going. Character play rates, this is the important part. So. Number one used to be Eddie, now it's Jen. He reclaims his spot. Eddie went down all the way to 14th on this chart. Now, if we pay attention to the opposite end, Leroy Smith was like bottom three, bottom four for the whole entire game. In this latest update, he got a lot of love, he got many buffs, and the character is a lot stronger now. Some people would dare say OP. With all of this hype surrounding the character, this guy moved up from 28 all the way to 20. That is a large jump and it really shows how the player base really do like pick characters based on like who gets buffed and who gets nerfed, right? A lot of people do switch around. But see, at the same time when I'm saying that, I was looking at Drakenoff to see how far he fell and he really didn't move at all. Pre-nerf, he was seventh. After the nerf, he is still 7. So it seems like the Dragonoff players are maintaining. Same thing with Devil Jin. So you can see that when the character gets nerfed, not everyone switches. Some people switch, but not everyone switch. All the Leroy players who are playing him now, I don't know what characters they were playing originally, but he gained a lot since then. One thing that I want to point out that's very interesting. Yoshimitsu. I think for the first time ever is top five on any usage chart. I never seen this guy top five. When you look at the most played characters in the advanced ranks, that's Fujin and above. Yoshimitsu is top five. It goes Jin, Haran, King, Dragonoff, and then Yoshimitsu. Lately, I've been like trying to explain the Yoshi uh, gameplay to you guys, and I've been getting a lot of pushback. People say, oh, how are you going to complain about Yoshi when he's so powerful? How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? Yoshi's so OP. They said they were going to nerf him in June 
I hope Yoshi, as a Yoshi main, I hope he gets a lot of nerfs. Because now more than ever, I feel like when you're a Yoshi main, you just get the most hate on the planet. And this is why I never wanted Yoshimitsu to be OP because I know what comes with that. Hate is what comes with that. But let's move on to the next chart. This is the character win rate. Last time we looked at this, Reyna was dead last and she still is, she's right there. Surprising enough, who is that? Is that Azazina? Azazina's right next to her? That is, that is crazy. Azazina is second, Kazuya is third, June is fourth, Steve is fifth, Zhao Yu, Devil Jin, that's crazy. I mean, to be fair, these characters are extremely popular, so the more people that play your character, the odds of them having a lower win rate is high. Um, so it's really not that surprising, but I mean just when you hear so much people talking about these characters and how deadly they are And you look at the statistics and it's the opposite, you know It kind of just shows you that yes a character may be powerful But not everyone can use that power and win Panda and Kuma still maintains their high placements of first and second Zafin is up there as well Eddie is all the way up there. So here's the interesting thing about Eddie. In Tekken 7, he was one of the most deadliest characters online. He he is like the top five strongest base roster character in terms of win rate. And that same thing is kind of true here. People just, just struggle against the Eddie matchup. And the buffs and also the changes that was made to his gameplay only, only amplifies that so much more. When you focus on the top rates, once again, Fujin and above, this is where Lily steps in. This character is third place. Kuma falls down hard, but Panda and Zafina is still up there, very, very high. I wonder, see, this is the thing, right? When developers buff these characters who's already, like Zafina and uh, Panda was buffed a lot, right? When the developers buff these characters who already have a extremely high win rate, um, that's only gonna make their win rate even more high. And it's not really going to affect their usage, like Zafina didn't even move. And I just wonder, like, is this what we want? We all say no one plays Zafina and that's why she wins. Then the developer buffs her, people continue to not play her and she just wins more. I just think that this is kind of repeating some of the things that happened in Tekken 7 and I think the developers should think about that. I'm not saying nerf Zafina or anything, but it's just like no one plays the character, she gets free wins. The more buffs that stacked onto that, just the more freer the wins are. Now, the final chart that I wanna look at is the distribution of Tekken prowess. We have another chart here. This is made by Notrix, I think is how you say it. This chart here just gives you a simple breakdown of how much each rank means in terms of Tekken prowess. We all know that the biggest deciding factor for Tekken prowess is how many characters you play. The developers said they did fix that or try to fix that whole update, but regardless, here's the distribution of Tekken prowess. It looks kind of similar to the ranked statistics. Um, you just see this huge spike at the beginning of the ranks. And then as you get into like the Fujins and Tekken Kings and God of Destructions, it just dies down to zero, right? So far, these buffs and nerfs have not really changed which characters are being played. The only one who moved drastically is Leroy Smith.